What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. The last episode was nuts. Sean died. Arthur got kidnapped. I hate Micah. <laughs> Micah is sus, in my opinion. Um, if he ends up being a traitor, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. It seems like recently, every time he's been involved with a plan, it went south. So I don't trust him right now. But it also could be that maybe they're just kind of baiting me into thinking it's Micah, but then it ends up being someone else. I don't know. I just know that I don't trust him where we sit right now. Let's get back into it. Oh my God, I'm, I'm about to die. Let me eat something. I should have a lot of food in here. Yeah, here we go. Some fish. Awesome. We should also brush our horse. That's good, girl. Yeah. That's so good. And then we should feed our horse too. A carrot. Good girl. Yay. That makes me so happy. Okay. Now we can move on with the mission. We need to go to Oh, here we, here we are. A camp. We were already pretty close to the camp, so. How do you guys feel about Arthur's hair right now? Do you like it long? Or should I cut it? I don't know how I feel about it. It's all right. Ooh, I love this. This fog is really nice. Kind of sets the mood for what happened last episode. We should probably resupply the camp. Okay, you're fed and everything, so I'm gonna go this way. Take a deep breath, okay? Uh oh, people are panicking. Yeah, I don't see anyone. What the heck? They're all huddled around over there. What's going on? Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my Jack? damn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw what? A of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. Oh my God. Get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dad, Everything's going south. I just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh, no. Okay, let's go get that boy back. What a horrible way to start this episode. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. Jeez. We have to focus on Jack. I yeah, Sean is cooked. I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. But we are getting him back and they will pay. Hold on, let me suit up here. I'm gonna get this. Let's use uh express rounds. And then I'm gonna pull out the shotgun this time around. Explosive slugs for sure. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Oh Christ man. Sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. 
I think this is the first time we've had the whole camp go out on a mission. Okay. It's usually only been a Get few people right. at now a time. Some move until I say so. Other than the beginning of the game, and that doesn't really count. Yo, we're pulling up. Oh. <laughs> this is actually kind of exciting. I'm curious to see how this plays All right, out. Everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. Yeah, we don't want our horses getting hurt. All right, baby, stay there for me. We'll be back. First Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. <laughs> there they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. Don. I need you to stay calm. Yeah, we don't want them killing Jack. Chill out. Ooh, the music here? Get down here now! You Let me turn this up. Trash. What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. No. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Uh-oh. They're all coming out. It's time, guys. We're going in. If you ain't going to be civilized about this. Oh, 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 that's going in. Oh, my God. What a way to start this mission. I'm taking them all out. Don't worry, Dutch. Can't shoot that guy's head. There we go. <laughs> this might be the best mission in the game so far. I think we're good. Coming up. See you. Watch out here for any other arrivals. Let's just take a point. Let's go. Find Jack and find that Braithwaite woman. All right. Jack, you in here? Jack. We heard the man. Can you hear me? Ooh. That's some gold right there. What's this letter? Jack! Oh my God. Listen to John right now. Thank you for your message of last week. I trust you know that I always appreciate your candor. I would, however, urge you to reconsider. We, our two proud and ancient families, have worked together successfully for five years now. We have always provided a quality product and paid our debts. You, in turn, have been a valued, the most valued of customers now when faced with a small cash flow problem and a minor disruption in supply. You're threatening to derail a successful business relationship. Out of respect for you, I will not allow you to do so without a fight. We will cover our debts shortly. I assure you of that. I agree that we have grown bigger, but we will pay the interest within the quarter. My spendthrift middle son has reformed his ways. This will not continue. As for the supply problems that disrupted business, that is a matter we have resolved entirely, as I told you. Scarlet Meadows. Letter to Angelo Bront from Catherine Bra uh, Braithwaite. Okay. Is there anything on the back? No. 
I know I'm like reading random stuff while, you know, Jack's in trouble, but hey. That cigarettes? I don't need that. I can't even go in here? It's locked? Well, we're definitely kicking the door. Let's go. Whoa! Holy crap! Just need to look around here real quick. I'm coming. I'm coming. Excuse me, John. That guy was just chilling in there. Let's go check upstairs. Are you in there? Open the goddamn door. John, Arthur, we'll hold you down here. We got more coming in. Uh oh. Get out there. We got this door covered. Got it. I got it. I got it. Uh. Rifle by the chair if you need it. Rifle by the chair? Ooh. A new one? Just like one of the bolt ones that I already have. The music here is insane as the cowboys are going in. Come on, reload, reload. Alright, we gotta use this. <laughs> My aim is off today. Oh, over there. I'm coming. Do I have any, uh, yeah. Is that all you got? Come on, then, you win, Frank. Come on. In. Now, let's find a way into that room. Oh, this door over here? Come on, this must be it. Can't see a goddamn thing. She barricade herself in there? Hold on, I got you. One, two, three. Oh! oh. Woohoo, Arthur! Jeez. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now let's get this hag out. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, we reckon they're all dead. Yeah, you just killed him. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. Jeez. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. I've never seen Dutch this mad before. Holy crap. He is psychotic right now. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here. Oh my hat. 
I'm taking his hat. Is there a better hat around? No. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. That Matthew. is true. Yes, yes. That's She's not it. wrong. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. Oh, man. They burnt her house down and left her there. Wait, where is she going? Did she just go down with her house, bro? Did she burn herself? Oh, yeah, my God. Out, John. It's going to work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, mm. that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. Not for nothing, but... For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Oh, Today, no. fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. <laughs> Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... It's done. This place... Ain't no such thing... as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed... He has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? Oof. I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me. And I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case... It'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. Uh-oh. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. Even Miss Grimshaw. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton. Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. 
Any ideas? I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Ah. Uh. Well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing. Come on, John. This is crazy. Me and you, John. Packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. Oh, we need to get rid of this. Hold on. Oh, no. We can't be wearing this, y'all. No, no, no. Absolutely not. I hated that hat. Be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean. How many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. Way this too many. Playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Mm. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Mac, Davy, Jenny, and for what? For nothing. You can't change what's done. You can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. He's hey, not you wrong. Put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. No, he needs to All start right. thinking about this. He has a son. He needs to protect him. To the left here. Like you were saying before, I treated Jack bad. Yeah. Abigail too. You haven't been a father. I want to believe he was mine. You know. When I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Dang it, I wanted to hear what you had to say. I was trying to slow down so he would keep talking. It's too late. But it does sound like you he's sure starting to I ain't sure question the whole right. motive of the Let's gang. Leave the horses here and take a look. Yeah, I remember this place. Oh shit! It's them again! Oh no! Guess we're going in. Damn it! Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Where are they at? All right, I check my corn. Dang. Son of a whore. Somebody's like right there. 
Or maybe not. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. Sorry, boys. This is ours now. Where are you creeps, huh? Oh. <laughs> We're clearing this place out. Anybody in there? I knew you'd come. You are some of a coward. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Dear Lord. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Okay, then. That is not what I needed to see today. Everything all right up there? Cocaine gum. A gold nugget? What? Just chilling in here? What are you doing, Arthur? I'm coming, I'm coming. Won't let me look around just a little bit. Where's that door right here? What's in here? Yes, John. Is that ammo? All right, let's go down there before John like goes insane because I'm so far away from him. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. That's pretty gross. But I guess the uh, the gators will have some food. <laughs> some protein. Yum. Hey, that looks like a place where we're going to be chopping wood. Yay. It's kind of cool that we're actually going to be living in a house for now. That's interesting. A nice like old plantation styled home. Yeah, that's what I was saying, John. Oh, I'm in the water. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Got them in. All right. See you soon. Oh. Where was Micah in that last mission? I feel like I didn't see him. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I don't know. And was he at the camp when the, the Pinkertons came? I 
don't trust that guy, man. They got me on cleaning duty for real. Here they come. Welcome home, all of you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Of course, not now. Just neglecting Molly. Can you believe that girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Of course. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. Really? So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We're going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. Oh, that'd be nice. Mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. That might be smart. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. <laughs> what a rainbow in the back. I love it. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. It was just smog with a <laughs> with a rainbow in the back. <laughs> That's uh, the city of LA for you. We're here. We're here, San Denis. Finally. I've been excited to come here. And now here we're finally at the spot. Howdy, sir. Hello. Mister. I mean, we were here doing? for that one mission. I don't Hello. know if you guys remember like a few episodes ago. Let's see what's up. Oh. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Bro, I did not mean that. Oh my God. Out there, mister. Never seen anything like that before. How do you do? I lost him. I mean, he's still looking I for Gavin. Him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> what the heck? Hello, sir. 
Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? No, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken it. <sighs> Maybe he just left. Right. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Are you never. sure about that, though? Gavin! Sure seen everything now. Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> like, I mean, he reminds me of Luigi. Nobody Looking for Mario in Luigi's Mansion. Gavin! I don't know if we can ever really help him. All right, girl. <laughs> All right, man. Mama, would you move, please? Oh wait, what? Why are you doing this? Oh no, he's still down there. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, that hurt. Bro, this place sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Out of the damn way. Give me, please help me. Let's help this guy. You, yes, please. Coin, please. Please. Won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Yeah, sure. Someone's playing the trumpet? <laughs> Go get yourself something to eat. Hey, yo, what the? Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Oh, snake oil. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. How'd you get this? I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. It's all right, man. It happens. <sighs> Tough times. Hey, ma'am. Hello, sir. Hi, folks. Bonjour, monsieur. Bro, I love the trumpet, man. I played it in high school. I was actually first chair trumpet player in my uh, high school. Trumpet is so fun to play. Oh, hold Get on, up, cowboy. Who is this? <laughs> oh, Dutch. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard. This establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Arthur is not cool. <laughs> He's gonna end up fighting somebody. Oh. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run you back to Britain with the tails between their old. legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Of course. Now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Am I a whiskey man? Uh, did the game freeze? <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, my God. Wait, maybe we can fix this. Oh, wait, here we go. It's working. 
uh, with no sound? What in the world? What's wrong with my game? Oh my God. Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big? Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can no. I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. No. Okay, then, sir. <laughs> Bro, this game is nuts, man. Oh. What does that say? Hats of distinction for ladies? Virgil, Dawson, and company. Okay. Beautiful foliage. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. <laughs> what is that, a nonsense. cheat code in real life? <laughs> Don't take my word for it then. You lost, mister? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. <laughs> All right then, ma'am. Lucky for him, he didn't have a ring on his finger. Shut up! You believe in your fairy tales. <laughs> hey, that lady found the contra code for marriage. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love it. Hey, hey, you got a cigarette, Mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry, no one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? <laughs> Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Are you little... You little bit of shit. He's going. He's coming after us. You give that back. Oh man. Look at this. Oh, you're cooked. God, mister. <laughs> oh my god. Just give it up, boy. Little does he know. Arthur's got the stamina. 
That thing ain't moving that fast. Stop, shit. I'm about to hop on one of these carriages pretty soon. <laughs> Oh, he went in there. That kid, shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob. I don't care about Bob. About 14 years old, run through here. Why, yes, we did. He went Thanks a lot, mister. That's enough. Come here. Hey, moron. Oh, we're about to get this kid pretty soon. We're right up on him. Oh, really? God, Arthur is strong. You ain't got a chance in hell, Slowpoke. Get back here. I feel like I'm playing bully right now. <laughs> I'll spend it on something nice, mister, I promise. Stop, God damn it. Oh, he's doing parkour like he's an assassin. Ah! To feed. That's his creed. This is your last warning, boy. Uh oh. Watch out. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here about 14, 15. Bro. Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. <laughs> you know that guy? I'm telling you, cucumbers are fruit. Fun, mister. I like <laughs> oh, I slipped. You're right about that. Thanks, mister. Arthur is definitely going through it, man. Oh my god. Just ran right through the fence. Like the incredible Hulk. Mm. Oh, we got wrong, guns? Rip? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Is that him? Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, Oh, but no. I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. <laughs> the way he waved. <laughs> that little boy slapped up that little the other little boy. That was hilarious. This is like What the heck? Will you help a fella out? Yeah, uh, sure. You got some snake oil for me? Get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. What the heck? Ginseng? Kind. Okay. I lost my money playing poker. Ugh. Oh, poker? I know where a good game is. Above the Hello. gunsmith. Hello. Uh, Robbery tip. Thank you, sir. Hello, ma'am. Morning. Hey, friend. Hi there. Morning to you. Buongiorno. Hello, mister. The blaze is My horse is way too far away, I think. Maybe not. Good morning, sir.
Look at Dutch over there. Hey there, partner. Fine Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Ah, good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I mean, we sent a huge message with the Braithwaite mansion. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. True. We're a long way east to land we know, and far from real open country. Gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Oh, there's a mission over here. We should do it. I need to go inside. Oh, maybe here. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Hello. Sure. What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> oh, <how> very <laughs> American of you. I love it. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. <laughs> I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have <laughs> that right here. Hmm? I guess so. True. Um, you know, uh, Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art <laughs> is lies, but the vagina, <laughs> that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you oh. know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Thanks for the, the art. <laughs> the nude art. I appreciate it. No one else will find me a drink. I will go. Dieter, all of you. <laughs> I love that guy. I love that French guy, man. <laughs> okay. Man, was he spitting facts? Hey, kind sir, will you help the poor? Uh, sure. I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. 
And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Oh man. This a is how I be like in real life, way. man. They be getting you too. <laughs> they be getting you, man. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. Mm. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, yeah, usually he's the best man I know. That's Aww. wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. It's like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. What? Help the poor. That man said it was 1899. <clears throat> Mister, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Leather, Hello there. You morning, name it, man. I can work with it. Lovely morning. Back too. awful soon. I actually have a lot of stuff I can sell right now. Let's have a look. Oh, this is the trapper, though. Um, I'm thinking about the fence off the top of my head. I guess I don't have anything for you. Hey, folks. Thanks, partner. Uh, hola, senor. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Hello, ma'am. You need to watch where you go. Good morning, to you. Neho. How's things? Oh, my God. This freaking city is so diverse like it's real life, man. Good morning, ma'am. You literally can meet every type of person. Every race. Different cultures. That is awesome. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. I didn't mean to run in. My bad. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? I don't want to steal anything in here. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just put the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Ah! Why that book in particular? This better not be a trap. Oh, hello? Shh, gadgete, gadgete. Oh my god. Oh my god. Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Oh my god. This is horrible. Por favor. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Hmm. Por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. I see now this game got me tearing up, man. I'm over here crying and stuff. I can't gracias, I can't señor. stand Muchas that, gracias. man. I can't stand Don't seeing me. slaves. Don't worry. You're gonna be all it's right terrible. Now, I'm sorry guys, hold on. Give me a minute. Dang. I just I just 
I hate that. Makes me so angry. Ah. That's it. Wait, where'd the guy go? You'll be safe soon. Where'd he go? Oh wait, what? Give cash to them? You know what? Yeah. Give them cash. Here. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. Arthur, you're such a beautiful soul, let me tell you. Oh my gosh. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Thanks for your assistance. Glad to see you again, sir. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. I like how he spoke in French first because since this is New Orleans, um, there was a lot of French here, right? A lot of French speaking people. Let's go, girl. But obviously we know that they were, uh, they were Spanish. They were from Mexico. So he said comida after. That was cool. It's like the attention to detail there is really nice. Um, oh wait, there's another one. Dude, these missions are kind of nice. I'm sorry. I'm like getting emotional about this guys, but like I really just Man, the older that I get I'm noticing like I don't know. Maybe I'm just appreciating life a lot more or I don't know what it is, but You know, you really don't want to see people go through traumatic things and like seeing things like that Really breaks you, you know you know, when I was younger, I used to watch like a lot of movies on like black history, a lot of slave movies and such. And I never really understood really what was going on and like the importance of it and what trauma that, that these people had. Right. You don't, you don't care about that stuff when you're a kid, but when you get older, you really start to realize, you know, you start to think about the traumatic situations that you've been in your life all throughout the years. And you think to yourself like, man. I got it good. I had it real good. Like they, those were traumatic events. Those were horrible things, but compared to what other people had to go through before me, I got it good, you know? Ah, excuse me, bud. Oh, what's going on over here? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? <laughs> oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen. I don't need that much. How much? 
About a hundred gallons. Of oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons <laughs> of ocean love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Order <laughs> calls. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. All right, well, we can't do that right now, but we'll do it eventually. It's good that we got that mission started. When we're out that way, we will definitely do that mission. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I hit that pig. The pig's okay. The pig's okay. The pig is not dead. I repeat, no pigs were harmed in the making of this video. This is terrible. <laughs> Bro, I can't see things sometimes. I'll be looking at the map and next thing you know, it's something will walk out in front of me like that. Oh, what's that? Hold on. Brother Dor Dorkins. Oh wait, but there's a stranger ahead. I want to do both, but I'll do this one. These missions are really important to the story. I like doing all of the like little side quests because they're not like just side quests where it's like, oh, you know, it's just filler. Like it actually helps develop the story and Arthur as a person. So I try to do all these little side quests that I can. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Yeah, sure. All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. Oh, wow. A shelter How for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Ah, dang, this is just like living in the city, man. I swear every five seconds you're paying... You're, you're just giving people money for free, pretty there much. Are many on hard times. Many children without fathers. Dear Lord. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's How many GoFundMes are there in this city? <laughs> what is your name, sir? But I have a lot of money, though. I like $2,200. On a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Bro, I wonder if you actually see that in this game or if you see it in the next game. No way. That's fire. Girl. You guys can tell me in the comment section down below. I'm so curious. Will I be able to go into that building eventually and see that plaque with Arthur's name on it? Where was that? There was a mission around here. Is this? Hey, partner. Hey, hey, you! You ain't supposed to be here. Hey, feller. Hello, Mill. I heard somebody. Oh, I'm sorry. Please there. find it in your heart to give to those who gave everything. Your donation will Bonjour, greatly monsieur. improve the lives of our nation's heroes and their loved ones. Oh, that's that one lady. But I could have sworn I saw another mission over here. What are you somewhere. Hey, it's Women's History Month, too. It's March. So this, uh, this kind of goes with the month. Excuse me. Hello. You're walking away from history, you fools! Oh, right here. Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty? But somehow, I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. Monsieur? Monsieur? Ma'am? You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? 
<laughs> oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Yeah, yeah sure. Dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. <laughs> I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Young man. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Arthur is old, ma'am. Votes for women. Abolish discrimination against half of every home. Because you keep us in gilded That pages? is facts. Is there anything else I can do? Unlike most of you, I can read, write, and even speak in public. Dang. I support the cause. All right, let's go down here. What the heck happened? What the hell? What in the just got this shirt. You got mud on you? I've been covered in worse, friend. Ugh. Of all the days. Who is this guy? Alright, well, I guess I can't do anything with him. Am I supposed to be following him somewhere? What, or what? Hey, like, what's happening? Hey, move! What's wrong with this guy? Is he German? You okay, buddy? Uh, fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shove the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What the heck is that? Some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No. <laughs> yes. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> Me and Arthur were on the American same wavelength trade. there. And not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Is, it, is that a submarine? Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <chante. laughs> uh, hello. hello. That's crazy, because like 20 or 30 years <laughs> later, they were really uh, using submarines. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe <laughs> I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, 
show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. <laughs> any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Oh, yes. okay. Now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. Oh, they have magnets oh, oh. attached. Make Whoa. Them miss the explosion if they touch the bot. Okay. I can aim. If this silly dimwit That's can use aim? torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius. And I have certificate. This man made a submarine. You see what he does? No With torpedoes. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. There. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Yeah, we just... That's a killing machine, like she said. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. I mean, this yeah. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still oh. avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. He sounds like Roman from uh, GTA 4. In full of the danger, the steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air, like the voice of God. Look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. It, and was this not difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult for me. Carefully. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. All right, then. Um, <coughs> sure. I hope you will forgive my uh, European coarseness. In the Balkans, uh, we are a mannerless people, but we work hard. <laughs> now, let me go over the investment with you once more. And, and, and this is for uh, military purposes? No. It is for humanity itself. Uh, you see... You see, I have now illustrated just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this earth. If you will help me and not Ooh. stab me in the ass like the other Americans. Traitors! All of you goddamn traitors! None of you has the wisdom to invest in my genius! Genius! You're fools. All of you. Fools. 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 
Hey, he broke it. Anything else I can help you with? No, no, you've done quite enough. Now you can leave me alone. You said the Balkans, where's that? I'm not completely ignorant to European countries, but I don't have the best knowledge. This is the law. Screw the out of you. What the heck's going on here? Hey, hey, oh, hey, whoa! Oh, shit, no. Looks like the law finally caught up with Come you. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, that's a black man. Hey. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, I did something bad. Oh no. I gotta go. I gotta go. What the what's going on? Hey yo! I'm just I'm just trying to go. I'm just trying to go. I'm just trying to go. No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Where's my horse? Oh they oh I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! Just kill me! Just kill me, just kill me, just kill me, just kill me. I'll die. I I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Please. I'm going this way. I'm dipping off this way. Oh my god. Can they see me? Yeah, I'm like kind of in the middle. Of Hold on. Oh my god. I'm cooked. Wait, I'm not cooked. I'm not cooked. Oh my God. I got away. I don't know how, but I. We're getting far behind. I swear he just looked at me. Bro, I am a master at running away. That's him. Oh my God. Just let him take me, man. Take me, man. <laughs> Bro, he ran up on me, man. He ran up on me. Hi there, ma'am. What's the problem, I need to say hi to people real quick. How are you, ma'am? Hello. Hi there, mister. Hey, mister. There's something what? You. you want something from me? Hey, partner. Just trying to get on everybody's good side. Try again. Please. Please. It is M Por favor. It's warm. W. An upside down M. I, I don't get it. Oh, you will. It, it's like swimming. It takes time. But then it's easy. And the whole world opens to you. Hate this. Oh, don't do that. Take your time. I lit. I lit. Like. I like the soon. Soon. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Summer. Summer. I like the summer. Don't worry, you know the letters, you know the sounds, you're nearly there. I got no use for stupid books. I don't have any use for stupid books. If you ain't, why are you making us do it? No, you should say, I don't have any, not I got no. <laughs> I think you may be confusing things a little now, Brother Dorkins. <sighs> Go over to first... Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir, Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Oh. Hey, stop! These kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. Oh, no. We need to get that, then. Yeah. Are you 
afternoon, bastards! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Maybe your eyes don't work so good no more. You kids, you... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> All that for a crucifix. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. Really? This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. Oh, what in the world? I gotta go. What the heck? Holy shit. Mrs. Downs is a sex worker? Alright, let's go this way. We can duck off here. Good thing there's so many alleys and stuff to like hide in. think they'll see me up here I don't think so I think we're good Don't alert them again. Oh, and it made me mess up the mission. Oh, I scared her away. Anyways, back on the topic of Mrs. Downs. Are we surprised that she turned to sex work? Excuse me. I mean, she had nothing after all that debt and such. Arthur and them took all her money. What else was she supposed to do? Challenges used to frustrate me. Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is. A... <sighs> Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. That's nice. Sister, enjoy your day. I See mean, you, when Arthur's not killing people, he is a great guy. Let's be real. Evening. Oh, we can go into the gun store. It's right around the corner. Might as well. Don't do that. What you acting so weird for, huh? I'm sorry. See, somebody's putting in the work. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. Take a look at our catalog. Let me know if you want to get a feel for any of them. Ah, let me see. I need some express. These two. Well, you don't mess around. Oh, I got plenty of money. Don't you worry, sir. Besides the shopper, I like it. Repeating shotgun. 
Some of these I already have. I should get this rifle. It's locked though. I don't own a varmint rifle. I should buy it. I could just want to add one. This looks like a good gun. That's a good solid pistol right there. I don't think I really need it though. That's it for now. Hey, you shouldn't be there. This is a civilized establishment. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. What is the matter with you? Sorry, sir. Relax, my friend. Never mind. <laughs> I love how he said that. <laughs> Alright, now we can go to Dutch. Man, I still got this bounty. Alright, let's let's go to the post office and pay it. Uh, right here. Okay. Now, story-wise, I've been kind of on and off with this game. Like, there's been points where the game, like, really impressed me. And I was, like, really tuned in. And then there was points where I was just like, hmm, I feel like this is filler. Hey there. Hello, sir. But I'm going to have to say, ever since the last episode... This story has intrigued me. I am in it now. Like, I can feel like this is picking up. I'm really caring about the characters. I'm really interested in, like, what's going on now. It's not like me just going around doing, like, mindless side quests. And, like, San Denis is very interesting. Like, all these strangers that we're running into, these side quests that we're doing, they're all, like, fun. I mean, I've been cracking up this whole time. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, okay. The only thing about it, though, is I can't ride my horse through this place for crap. I'm terrible at it. Like, yeah. We just got to be more careful and mindful of, like, the trash cans that are about and, like, the little things that your horse can trip on. But that actually feels realistic, though, because I'm a country boy in the game, right? I'm Arthur, and we're not used to riding in a city. So I actually feel like I can relate to Arthur right now where I'm actually struggling, you know? <laughs> feels really realistic. Feels like I'm a part of the world. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Oh, must be. You okay, John? I guess. I don't have my shotgun, I don't think. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Dude, I don't know. I don't think you do, but okay. 
Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. This could go very bad. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. I like how he put that. You twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman. What the heck? Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Oh, uh, the I... pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> that was easy. But, uh, uh -oh. should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. All right, then. I don't know how John oh, feels about this, girl. but. Come on, then. We're going to wear Arthur's hat for now. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. Just in case, let me bring this and this. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. Oh, no, you have not I been. Hope. He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. 
but Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. This city is beautiful, man. At night, especially, like, oof. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Huh? Watch out! Can't you control that damn horse? Well, I didn't know which one you were gonna hitch on, homie. Chill out. We should go on foot from here, Arthur. What the heck was that noise? I don't like cemeteries, John. This is where ghosts are and zombies. This way. And we're in New Orleans. You know voodoo? Black magic? Alright. Let's see what's going on. I'm pulling my gun out. That's not what I wanted. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Who's that? There's a dog over here. Shush. Hey there, boy. Let's keep going. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but he won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. I don't see anyone. I hear something over here, I think, though. Over there? Oh, check this out. Wait. Hold on. Sorry, uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Okay, then. Come on. There might be something. Wait, what? Oh, right there. What are you talking about, John? Where are you going? All right, well, I'm going this way. I always forget you can use that sense. Whoa, what the heck? Get the cover, and we'll bust the door in. Hey, John, over here. You boys found my puppies watching. Whoa, whoa. They should have killed us when they had the chance. Oh my god. Yeah, they are. Can't see worth a damn. Me either. We sure picked the right night for it. 
Let's stay on him. Come on. Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up. No doubt. Hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, blast it. Where's he at? Oh, he moved. All right, well. Hmm. I guess that doesn't work here. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Time Dutch can go, and I'll have the drink. I think we got one left. Let's smoke him out. Sure hope they ain't seeing. Is he over there? Just keep your head down. Got him. That's all of them. All right. Now let's fuck Thanks to dash. me. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Ooh, $21? Dang, these guys are kind of rich. Hold on, we gotta loot these guys. Let's look around where they jumped us. Eighteen dollars? Oh my god! Big money, bro. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show. I know, John. Nothing. Shut up. These fools got a lot of money. John's not seeing my vision. Come on. You know? Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Okay. We're here. I think there might be something in here. Oh. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Oh, is that police? Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Of course we can't. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Oh, we gotta go Let's this way. To the side. Oh. That's all we need. We gotta lose them, Morgan. You're a dead man. All right, let's go. Oh, we should be able to lose them in here, though. Come on, somebody hit this. No, sir. You hear me? Someone kill him already. Let's push him. Come on. Oh, John screwed. And the bounty is just going up. Oh, John died, bro. He was surrounded by police officers. But I didn't want to shoot them because my bounty would have went up. And I don't want to pay off a huge Shit. bounty. It's the law. Let's go. Man. Maybe we just need to sneak better here. Let's see. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Maybe there is a way to just fully stealth this. Come on. Let's go around the side. Someone coming. Hide. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Come on. Stay together.
All right, John. We're almost out. Oh, that's perfect for us. We should be able to go, Marson. There you go. Go, 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 go. Let's get back to Dutch. Okay, then, girl. So there was a way to completely stealth that section. Just had to take your time. Like most stealth games. Let's wait for John. man let's just get back there collect our side of the deal you all right he best not be playing come on arthur well you took your time jack? where's your host Hi. oh I jack said. is here let's go i'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend Thank Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Look at the clothes he's got on. Okay. You know, Arthur, they freshened him Mr. up. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're going to love it. Passing you. Sounds good. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. Whoa. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. Horse, yeah. And pantafola? That's, That's a slipper. A slipper. Ah! A slipper. <laughs> they gave me two My boy is learning. For one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail, Abigail. We got you, your son. Everything. Oh my God! I hope she's here. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mom. Oh yeah, she's here. They fed me good <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur. 
Thank you. She said nothing to John. Oh my God. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Oh, we got some money. <laughs> He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some room. Damn, John. Hey, Easy there, John. How about a song? Oh, yeah. Hot yeah. the yeah. air. Play us That's away. Bella sierra, morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Bella sierra, morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de... Oh my god. Why is every episode gonna be so emotional? I love it though. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Oh, I'm half white. I can say it. How come white people can never do things on rhythm, bro? Like, what is going on here? We're off. We're off key. Hey. Yay, Jack's back. Boy, a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Jack literally brings everyone together, and it's so beautiful to see. Thanks again for that watch. I left something for you by your bed. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, sure, I did. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Well, let's get back to it. Okay, off. <laughs> Liddy remembers, bro. It took me a second when he said no. I had to really think about it. I was like, wait, yeah, you're right. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. 
Eat up. Thanks. Have a little faith. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, Arthur. Aw, he's eating now. I feel like I can breathe again. Oh, no. Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was... Well, I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. <laughs> Live a little. I might have a couple. Anyway, this is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Look after that Boring kid. Bastard. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. Good to see you smiling again, Abigail. Thank you again. Truly. Ah, uh, I missed that little rascal. But uh, someone I never saw, the, he shot the rope. Clean you through. love me really, Grimshaw. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Oh, wait, what? Was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely. Jose was almost hung? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what did he get convicted of? Come on. Let's we did it. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. And he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, home boys, home, it's where I want to be. Home boys, home, with the girl on either knee. With that little ribbon hat and that coat and navy blue, let him climb the rigging like his daddy. Ain't no being lost. He rumbled me. Fights was over long ago. Or never happened. Was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out, you was born, you die, in between you do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad and just the length of time between being born and dying, that's all there is. <laughs> Ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. And maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. Who would have thought this guy was so deep? And I'm going to be right at home there. Yes, you will. Trust me. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. This guy's an idiot. Don't listen to him, Lenny. Lenny! Fellers, what do you got for me? <laughs> oh God, right, you don't. It's all yeah, coming back to me. Taking it all in. Sure is good to have the kid back. This man, Arthur. <laughs> why did he do that, bro? Started as a thieving lad in 1849. Oh yeah, I can see. Very lady. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. Drivers, when they feel inclined, will have you walking on behind. And on your 
I'm sure, sure you do. Them all you you ask everything differently. They promise when you're pale, you pay. You'll have to leave me alone. And have a sad with a cunning laugh. You'll have to push the other hat. Is okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Yeah, she seems pretty worked up. Maybe it's because of you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. You okay, Pearson? Yes, indeed. Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. You all right there, Mary Beth? Yeah, I'm just watching it all. Go on, have another drink. It's a party after all. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't <laughs> smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. <laughs> what the Take heck? It easy, Miss Karen. Hey, it's all, that all right, well, I should be getting on. Sure, Arthur. Let's see what's up with her. If we can. She might not talk to us. Nah, it won't even let me talk to her. Y'all saw that lightning? Jeez. Look out, Molly. Oh my God. My lady. Yes, Mr. Morgan. How are you? Oh, haven't felt better. Well. God. And the horses are panicking. Go to bed, Karen. I'm not. I know, but go to bed. Oh, please. Karen. Oh, go to bed. Oh. 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 Dear Lord, certainly no one You ever think of that? That's some we both died at six points, Kevin. You can't yeah. blame me That's for true. what you eat, but show oh, me bro. a man I sleep really fine, drunk. then big old He's cooked. lying out on the ground. Okay, and well, let's talk more later. Yep, all right. For our see gang's you. demise, says we're no good thieves that you should despise. Parson remarks from his pulpit of bones. Fortune favors those who look out for their own. <coughs> oh my dear lord. I don't like how this lightning and thunder sounds and looks. What the heck, Bill? What was that? 
Stop acting like a drunken idiot. I learned it from you. Just calm down. Tommy. You all right? <coughs> I'm fine. You two stop acting like idiots. Well, this sucks. Oh my God. The wind and everything sounds awesome though. Keep this party going, Javier. I will. We did it. He's back. Uh, what? Arthur. I thought this is where I sleep, but I guess I'm upstairs. Sorry, Jose. Hosea. Oh, this is where Dutch sleeps. Oh, I'm over there. God, that sounds like a real storm, guys. That's crazy. Bunch of ammo. Shaving. Oh, check this out. Dynamite. Go ahead and uh, get rid of that. We should sleep though that was awesome we got jack back brought him home had a party i didn't get drunk this time around but i feel like we didn't really need to what's this well let me look at it Back. Game, don't do that. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, God. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Oh, I'm rolling Yours, my eyes, girl. Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess we got to do that mission. Hello? Hey there. Actually, what is what does Lenny want to do? Rob a stagecoach? What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. 
There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. No. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but... Don't do that. I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? Uh -huh. I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand holding off of <laughs> Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> Arthur's right. messed up. Let's get going there. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the junior. Ha! <laughs> oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Hmm? Time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. No. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Over here? Oh, this one's kind of far. I didn't think we were going to ride out this far. But no dialogue either? I thought we would talk to Lenny a little bit more. Okay, here we are. Whoa. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. Figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. I'll be ready. Us hanging out with Lenny? Those are the best missions. There it is. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit! U.S. Marshals, you're under Oh, no!
Lenny, this is not good. Oh, you're over there? Okay. Man, what a spot to be in right now. Thanks, Lenny. Can we leave or we got to kill this guy? Dang. You laugh? Yeah. Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait, look, look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. I should have put my bandana on. That was my bad. Get out of here before any more turn up. I totally right. forgot about that. See you back at camp. Sometimes it does it automatically, and I thought it did it, but it didn't. All right, we need to get out of here. Probably not a good idea to stick around. My girl. Yeah. Well, he put us in a bad situation. Mary Beth has a mission? Hold up. I got to do that. I barely get to hang out with her. Yeah, my weapons are in poor condition. I know. Yo, what the heck? A slave? You right, girl? What did that say? A letter to Uncle Lewis? Oh, here it is. Letter to Uncle Lewis from Elijah. September 6, 1861. Dear Uncle Lewis, I will keep this brief because I am on the run once again. After escaping the switch and whip of the Pennington family, I was captured by a white man outside the town of Rhodes and have spent the last three months or so in the worst conditions of my life. He took me to a shack called Old Harry Fen in Southern Lemoyne, where I was chained to a wall night and day in a filthy room with only the barest minimum of sustenance. I ain't sure if he was a slave catcher by trade or just plain evil or both, but if I hadn't escaped my shackles, I doubt I would have survived much longer. Now I intend to make my way as safely as possible up to Canada to join you and cousin Samuel. I imagine it will take me a few weeks, but I'm determined to remain free and I'm very much looking forward to continuing my schooling with you. I intend to stow away on a train heading north and will post this letter when I reach the next town. Didn't make it. Dang. RIP yeah. Elijah. Hey there. I wish my horse looked that nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Who's there? Oh, Javier. Arthur, you dumbass. You're back. Yeah. Oh, I need to go this way. Hitch my horse over here. Where'd that other horse come from? This came out of nowhere. All right, let's see what Mary Beth has us doing. The heck? Oh, this is Stacy. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit you up over there. All 
All right, stay hitched up. Oh, look who it is. Mr. Sunshine himself. Shut up! <laughs> You're milking the wrong bit, Thank son. You. Milking the wrong bit. <laughs> That's a metaphor, by the you way. If you I'm say so. Happy. Oh, that you know how. I got work to do. I, I can't remember. <laughs> Don't mind me. I feel like I need. This is not what I want to deal with right now. Okay. Well, excuse me. Ain't no way he was hitting on John's girl. Micah. Got through some whiskey last night. Uh, so, you're still alive? Of course. I hate him, man. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <laughs> If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken <gasps> by the Foreman brother she used to run with. Come along! Oh, Foreman no. Brothers, what are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just Ooh, get going. Ooh, Miss Grimshaw ain't playing. You mess with her girls. All right. Head for Rhodes. She's pulling Anything. out the guns. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. Well, what do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. Oh my god. But like I say, she was defending herself. As she should. She fled and fell in with us Ooh. right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Exactly. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Well, thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said. Oh! Oh! Get in there and find our girl. 
Oh my god! Miss Grimshaw! Bro. She is lit. I'll take the shotgun. Are oh, we going in? Guns blazing, boys. Let's do it. Oh crap. Why did he put the gun away? Why'd you do that, Arthur? Oh. <laughs> Oops. That's why you go in with the pistol. But it's so much more fun to go in with a shotgun though. I love it. What the hell? What the hell you think you're doing? Shut up. Oh man, she's looking rough. It's okay, mm -hmm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm -hmm. get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now Let's go, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> what the heck? Ain't no way. All right, get after them. All right, we're going, we're going, we're going. I got my shotgun, too. I saw him go through those bushes. We're coming for you, you bastards. You got it. They're heading down the hill to the water. Okay. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. Are you out of your mind, lady? Let's sail. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tim. Oh, we lasso him. You don't want a war with me. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Yep. All right. You're making a big mistake. I'm trying to get close enough to get him. You stay the hell out of this. Come on. Oh. Come on. Get him, Arthur. We were almost there. Dang it. Bastard. I'm trying. Got him. No, I don't. Oh, you think she's yours to have? You don't know who you're dealing with. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. I'll kill you. Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. Oh. I'll over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Sure won't be. All right, bro. This is a nice horse, though. It's like a spotted horse. It's pretty cute. Come on. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. 
I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Tilly, we got him. ground here I want to get a good look at this monster so he's still alive then ah, yes you see this girl you leave her alone she killed my cousin your goddamn cousin had it coming Anthony Foreman I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast she's mine she ate yours you know a friend of mine he always says <clears throat> Revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family. I feel like I've heard that before, your Arthur. Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I... Slit your throat and just save us all the bother. I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. Ah. Uh. Sadly. I agree with you. Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. I feel like that was kind of the way to go with that because, I mean, let's be honest. Was he really going to leave her alone? I feel like he was too... consumed by revenge, if that makes sense. He wasn't going to stop. Cause he could have he could have stopped before you know what i mean after uh she was gone for a while so like i don't know okay girl yeah i feel like we made the right call there i feel like we needed to take him out oh this is where the moonshine thing is let's do that This isn't even my horse. I'm just borrowing it. I got blood all over me. Jeez. Glad you dropped in. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Okay. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. All right. Good evening, sir. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north at Saint Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive carefully with it. What's up with that X? Why do you put the X on there? Anyways. Oh yeah, here it is. It's all the way up here. What were these black dots again? Oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna go down here. We'll do the Strauss mission. Well, this technically isn't my horse. 
just found this one because of the mission. But all right, game. Yep. Since my horse is all the way back here. There it is. This horse is really slow. Uh oh. Bounty hunters? Yep. You better stay right there. Whoa, stay still or you're done for. Let's not be too hasty. Ah, okay. Where's the other one? I hate to do this, but. I needed it. I needed him to get bucked off his horse. I hate to shoot the animals though. Oh man. What's he got? Two dollars. That's it. Uh, the buckle might be worth something. Silver emblem ring. That's it, bro. Okay. Yep. That was a waste of bullets and time. I don't want to do the Mary mission. I'm one of those people like when it comes to your exes, you should just like get, get, don't do it, Arthur. Like she seems too uncertain. It's like one of those situations where like people take advantage of like your kindness is that does that make sense like she knows that she still kind of has like it's Arthur hope you've been good out Arthur wrapped around her finger because obviously they've already had a connection at one point so she knows that Arthur's gonna come for her anytime she wants it and when you have people like that they just take advantage of it well, Mr. Morgan, I, had your I could be wrong me. though thank you I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but we can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to I the I wish I would have known that before. Thank you. I know that already now. There he is. This evening. Well, I should get back to it. We'll see you later. What's Strauss doing all the way back here? Oh, I want that sage. It's good to have herbs. But this is for poisonous weapons. Which will definitely help us out in the future for hunting and such. What's up, Strauss? Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather <laughs> fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> oh, he's coughing. What the heck? This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And... That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Okay. A union built on debt. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh, you can go hunting with Pearson? I'm dead. That's cool. Well, I'm gonna do this mission.
We'll go hunting with Pearson eventually. What are you loitering for? No, I want my actual horse, not that horse. Alright, let's go. Hey, get that horse. All right, don't get all worked up. All right, Sadie, chill out. Stay alert there, Javier. Arthur. I don't want the other horse. It's just here. Yeah. What's the U? What's this? Rustle some cattle. I'm dead. Okay, so we got we got a few little like little missions that we can do in there. This time around. Yeah, I know where he is. We're going this way. Wish someone come. Hard this yeah. Get going, girl. Get. Bye. Apparently he's over here. Over there fishing. Hey! Oh, there he is. You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? <laughs> I could be fishing. What the You're heck? catching flies. You weren't catching fish. Now, come on. Let's get us that debt. You back so soon, Pa? Someone's here, boy. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Hmm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, mister.
Oh, are you about to stab me? I didn't think he was gonna do that. Dummy. I'm sorry. I know that was brutal, but I don't know why he did that. That irked me. Like, you just put your son in danger. I'm not saying that what Arthur's doing is any... Is good or anything like that, but I'm just saying, like... He should have just handed me the money and... Let it in there, you know? I did get stabbed, though. I saw the knife there. Y'all, we, we all did, right? But I was like, he's not going to use that. He just didn't seem like somebody who would do something like that. Don't hurt me, all right? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't. Until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Why didn't you just give me the money and your dad would still be alive? Oh my goodness. The things money does to people, man. Arthur and that guy in there. Come on. Just putting everyone in danger and at risk. For what reason? All right. With that being said, I think we should end here. That was a sad note to end on, but we're going to end here, guys. Thank you for supporting the series thus far. This was great. Another great episode. It seems like it's about to be like back-to-back -back banger episodes. There's just going to be crazy things happening in this game from here on out. I think we're getting into that point of the game where it's just like all the characters have already kind of developed. We kind of went through all the fillery stuff. Now it's time to actually like see these people that we've been, you know, hanging out with and having drinks with and singing at campfires with to finally just go through some issues and problems, right? It's all coming to a head now. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.